Today, we're going to learn a new song, like my new hair, and um, it's different. And why is it different? Well, I'm going to tell you. It's different because it's not in a major key. You're used to hearing songs in a major key. So, what do I mean by that? What is the difference between major and minor? Well, most of you are used to listening to songs that are in major. They have a bright sound, a happy sound. Like if I played a major chord on the piano, it would sound like this. And that's very bright and happy. But if I changed it and made it a minor chord, it sounds more mysterious and not as bright. Like for example, I'll play a minor chord on the piano. Listen. It sounds so different. But here's the thing, even if a song is in a minor key, it still could be very exciting and happy, but it just has a different sound. And since you're so used to listening to songs in a major key, it's good to learn songs that are not written in major, but are in fact written in minor. So today's song is written in a minor key and it's a super short song. I mean like really short. But what we're going to do, we're going to have a couple elements to go along with it. Today I'm going to introduce it to you, and then um, down the road we're going to play a little bit. We're going to play um, the song, and we're going to sing it or hum it, whichever you can do, in a canon. And a canon is when a song starts, and then the next group or person starts right after, in a certain time frame. Could be two beats, four beats, measures, whatever the designated time is. One person or group starts, and then the second one comes in after. So, this is actually a canon, but we're going to learn it singularly today because, well, I'm only one person. So, the name of the song is Only in October, and it's in a minor key. So, I will just go over the words because it's super easy, and I know you, don't have, you won't have any trouble remembering them. So, just listen to me first. Only in October, only in October. How easy is that? Can you say that with me? Only in October, only in October. Awesome. Now, the next line is again, it's super easy. Halloween. It's like IT apostrophe S. Halloween. It's. Can you say that? Halloween. It's. It sounds weird. But then that last line is only in October. Can you do that? Only in October. I told you this was a short song. So this, the whole song goes, Only in October, only in October, Halloween, it's only in October. Can you say that with me, the whole thing? One, two, say it with me, go. Only in October, only in October, Halloween, it's only in October. Awesome. Now I'm going to play it in the minor key that I was speaking of to you earlier. And uh, we're going to just hum along. But first I will sing it by myself, as I typically do, so that you know how the song goes. All right, so here's the sound of the minor chord. I know, it's kind of eerie. But it's fun, because it's a short song. So just get that mindset, minor chord. you hum with me. We're going to do it two times. Ready? Here we go. Only in October, only in October, Halloween, it's only in October. Again. Only in We're just going to go straight through two times. 
and then I'll tell you what the next part of the song is going to be like, okay? So here we go in the minor key, mysterious. interesting movement because if you could if when you heard it you heard that the song went from the first note of the scale on the up so basically what it's called is an ascending pattern so ascending means going up do you know the word for going down if you said descending awesome so the word for going up is ascending and the word for going down is descending so if we're ascending the notes are going up so we're going to sing or hum higher so that's the part about this song that's going to lend itself to the movement i'm about to show you so you have to start in a crouch position so because of the video i will start like this and then you're going to get higher and higher and higher and higher okay but you have to you have to tap in place so everybody crouch down as low as you can are you crouching? And it goes like this. Only in October, only in October, Halloween, it's only in October, only in October, only in October, Halloween, it's only in October. And I sort of messed that one up, so I apologize. So you're gonna start crouched, go up, and on Halloween, you do your raise the roof. And then when you do the last line, it's descending. So you're going to go back down. Okay? I think you can handle it. Start crouched. Start in a crouch position. Here you go. Only in October. Only in October. Halloween is only in Did you crouch and go up and then you went up and then crouched down? If you did, fantastic. You guys are rock stars. All right. We will continue this song. And then the next um, segment of this song, we will learn how to do the cannon. Great job. See you soon. Okay, so guys, right now we're going to do it together um, without the piano really quick. And I'm going to show you the movements one more time because you did a great job last time and I don't want to mess it up for you guys. So everybody start in your crouch position and we're going to do it two times in a row. And here's your first note. One, two, we got this. Go. Only in October, only in October, Halloween, it's only in October, only in October. Only in October, Halloween, it's only in October. How'd you do? Awesome. All right, do it one more time with the piano. Crouch down. So in the next segment, by the way, we're going to talk about the canon. And it's so much fun when you have two groups or two people doing it, one starting and the other one coming in after. So we will work on the canon next. Have a great day.